Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mitzi here with 307 Junk Journals. How is everyone this fine Wednesday morning? So today's video, I'm going to go over how we should properly care for our stamps. Um, being a junk journaler has, well... I've seen a lot of videos of people out there and it, that just don't take care of their stamps right. And it used to bother me. And now the older I get, I'm like, nah, whatever. <laughs> so first off, um, I'm a little sniffly today. I don't feel particularly good. So I may be slurring my words and I may be a little shakier than normal. We shall see. Um, remember if I am slurring my words, it's not because I've been drinking alcohol anyway. It's because of that ugly little tumor in my head and my brain stem causing hate and discontent wherever she goes. Um, so, uh, so, well, let's just jump right in. So my cleaning supplies, I'll move this stamps out of the way. I just had it there for for looks so my cleaning supplies are a dry rag it's an old washcloth that i think the dog got a hold of i don't know and then um this is actually a baby wipe container um that i i don't know where i got it probably walmart and right now i'm looking for I don't know what I did with it. Oh, yeah. Anyways, so this is a baby wipe container. What I have in it originally was the baby wipes, but now what I have in it is this. And this is a paint pad. So it at like Home Depot, Menards, Lowe's, whatever, in the painting section, if you go in there, you'll find paint pads. Um, I do believe that this was actually stuck to a metal a metal backing that actually slides onto the paint pad handle. I removed it from that and it fits perfectly in this. This is take three, by the way. So I, um, so that's really juicy right now and I'm not going to spray it anymore, but that's what I use to take a rubber stamp and scrub it with. Um, and it's reusable. I think I've had this whole setup for know, five, ten years, maybe longer. I, I don't know. Um, I know it's not my first one because my first one, I want to say one of my dogs ate. Oops, I'm sorry. Up here. sorry. Um, that one of my dogs ate, I think. I don't, I can't remember. Oops, and I didn't start the timer. My watch is doing weird things today. I don't know why. Okay, start that timer. There we go. All right, so there's that. And this is reusable. I mean, you could use paper towels in here if you wanted. You could use baby wipes if you so desired. This here, I find, is... Um, well, it's good for the environment because you don't have to, you know, there's no garbage until you get rid of this. And like I said, I've had this one for at least five or ten years, if not more. Um, and I don't ever dry what I put in it. So what, what I spray in here is a spray cleaner. Um, this is Comet Classic I got at the dollar store. Um, and it works, it works pretty good. It, I mean, it's not bad. I like 409. 409 works, I feel the best. Um, I've been known to use bleach, but bleach has its own issues in that eventually it'll eat your stamps. Um, so don't use bleach all the time. You could fill this full of water and put in, I don't know, five to 10 drops of Comet or not Comet, five to 10 drops of Dawn dishwashing liquid or any, or your preferred dishwashing liquid. Um, 
whatever you would like. Not dishwasher liquid, but dishwashing, you know, the, the sink stuff. Dish soap. And, and that makes a nice, mild cleaner. Um, but I've been, this is what I've been using. As you can see, the bottle is almost gone. It's over half empty. So, um, this is what I've been using. And I'll have to say that now that I do the junk journaling, I'm not as OCD about cleaning my Sam. So I'm trying really hard not to be OCD about things anymore. Um, so that being said, let, let us get started. So you'd spray in here, just spray it in there. And get this nice and wet. And seeing this is already pretty juicy. So we'll take one of these cling stamps. There's several stamps. There's cling stamps. Um, and there's wooden stamps. There's stamps that don't have uh, backing that you can um, back onto wood or cardboard. There's homemade stamps. Um, and this works with all of them. Okay, so in this, this is by Tim Holtz. It's Stomper, or Stompers, Stampers Anonymous. Um, it's the numeric CMS 161. Um, as you can see, like I said, this is take three. I didn't clean any, any of these stamps. So what I do is... Um, when I store stamps, sorry, this is going to be a little ADD today too. So sorry. Um, when I store stamps, like the cling stamps, especially, I always keep their original packaging. Um, this one here came, I'm assuming Tim Holtz has a, a binder that you could put these in. Uh, I don't know. I don't own it, so I don't know. Um, as you can see, this stamp here is cleaner than, say, these two stamps. Uh, so, you know, that that's that. I did clean this one in, I think, the first take. So we'll do this one. And all you do... All you do is you take your stamp and you just give it a scrub. And it's sometimes easier to have, oops, oh my, to, ha to have it on your stamping block. Oh geez, I threw it in the garbage. I may have shaken you, so sorry. Okay, so let's try. And you can take, so they have like re, there's glue out there that you can, um, that's re, I don't want to say replaceable, but it's not replace, there, it's, um, It basically means replaceable. Sorry, I'm having difficulties thinking of words. So anyway, so you would take this and then you just scrub the stamp back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it was clean up and down. And don't want to get this all lucky. And if it doesn't get clean on like the first, oops. On the first try okay that's just making me mad what you can do is, is leave the sit in there but i mean just usually just scrubbing scrubbing the stamp see makes it cleaner And you should do this after every time you use it. Um, if I'm going to do a lot of stamping, I will. But now that I'm, you know, a junk journaler, I don't necessarily, necessarily do it. And these stamps here, I'm not too worried about ink getting built up. I, this is a nice, um, it has a nice raised portion to it. Even this one does too. Um, 
but you can see here, see there's a lip there. So it's going to take a lot of ink to fill that in and to make your image be distorted. And then as far as storing, like I said, I keep it, I keep the, for stuff like this, I keep it in the original packaging and I will, I have a drawer that I have full of stamps over here and I just throw this in with top side down. Um, I'll show it to you. Cause it's right here on the floor. Cause again, like I said, this is day three. Let me, I had decided to do something different. And then my good friend, Laura told me that in yesterday's video, I said I was going to do this. So, so I just saw it like this. Um, this here is a piece of, I don't know what this is. It's something, it's, see, it's, it's like a piece of plastic and the clean stamps are on it. I got this from a yard sale. So this is how she stored her stamps. Eventually, I will cut this up and put these in sleeves. I like those little plastic envelopes that I use for different things. Uh, if it's a, a wood-mounted stamp, I, don't, I don't ever store image to image like that. Can you see that? Yeah, image to image. Because this image could transfer onto that image, and you don't want that. So, um, I actually would not even put this stamp, since it's long and narrow. Ooh, I got that stamp for a really good price. Um, I wouldn't put this stamp on top of that, because we live in... We don't live in zero gravity. We live in a, a gravity environment so if I were to put that there the chances of heat and I mean I live in the Rocky Mountain region I live in Wyoming so it does get cold here um and it gets hot in the summertime so you don't want your stamps to to soften up and then this sinks down into that pretty that pretty heart there so I would never store it like that. I would always store it, you know, side by side um, or upside down. And if I were to put something on top of it, the stamp would be bigger than both of those. Um, pretend that this box is a stamp. I would, I could, in theory, I could put that there like that and it would be okay. Um, I try to have everything level. Again, original packaging. And then down here, I have um, I have some boxes. Let me let, let me restack this. And yeah, I wouldn't oops, sorry. I wouldn't store these like that but I, I got them at a yard sale and I haven't had time to do it well I probably have had time to repurpose them but I haven't done it so there you go so in the bottom of that drawer let me get it back in the in the container here yep yay there are containers like this uh this is from stamping up this particular stamp set is from stamping up and it came in this nice little plastic container and it keeps all the stamps, you know, level or even the stamp surface even. Uh, so I don't have a problem with that uh, in the drawer. I would put it, put it probably like this and set stuff on top of it if I was going to, um, but these are wood mounted and you can get these plastic containers like this <clears throat> off of Amazon and they're probably twice this size. Yeah, they're probably twice this size and they hold quite a few rubber stamps and I have a have two or three of them in the bottom of that drawer for um, miscellaneous individual type stamps that I that I have. 
Um, sorry, I may be. So let's. So I'm just gonna use this one. Well, that's, sorry again, squirrel. So some stamps are very. They're very intricate. So let me find where's the piece of paper that I stamped that on. Alright, well, we're just going to use this paper. And then I'm going to pull over my ink pad. I, the only inks I use are archival inks or like the Distress Oxide inks. Uh, basically inks that are... That won't damage photos if you put them in. I, it's just what I have. So, inking. Um... So since this stamp is so intricate and all the little stamp surfaces are so close, I would sit it on here, give it a couple of twists, and then pounce. Twist and then pounce. And then that ensures that I get that stamp nice and inked up. So now let's just put that down, give it a good press, try not to rock, try not to rock your ink pad, because a lot, this stamp, it wouldn't do it, but um, some of the stamps that you would stamp if you rocked, yeah, see this one isn't going to be, you're going to have like the edge, an edge that you don't want. So I put the ink on, I always, or the lid on, I always throw my inks upside down. That way gravity pulls the ink from the bottom of the ink pad down to the top where you're going to be using it. And then all you do is you take your rubber stamp. And since this has such a nice um, nap to it, it, it'll scrub it for you basically. And then you take your dry cloth and you, sorry, scrub it back and forth. I don't think I'm wiggling you. And then see, your ink is all nice. Your stamp is all nice and clean so with these more intricate stamps the reason you definitely want to clean those is because ink can build up into ink can build it in, up in these little spaces here and cause your image to be distorted and then what are you going to do? Then you're probably just going to throw the stamp out and you could clean it. Um, you could let it sit on this, on uh, you know, in there like this, get, get it all nice and juicy and then just stick it like that and let it sit overnight. And that would be fine or for a few hours. And that would probably get it all clean. Um, it's not going to, and it won't ruin your stamp or anything like that. It'll just get it really clean. Um, so that's so that, that's how I would store the wooden stamps is in something like this or like or have them in a like that drawer. I have them the the stamp side facing up, so there's nothing on the stamp surface because if it gets hot, you know, hot and cold affects. Well, affects everything. But if you were just to, to put something smaller or off to the side, then it would, um, it could possibly leave an indentation on the stamp. And then it's not going to be, it won't be as, as clear as it should be. So, uh, so this is. This is something I use all the time. Um, this is my drawer of accessories. So you can see that. There you go. Um, like I said, I store all of my ink pads upside down. And this here is just a number. Well, it's a date stamp. I use it for numbers. This over here. See, it's just, and I just periodically give it. Oops. it a, a turn and it 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 you know does stuff 
Um, and that's what that is. That's just, and that's, you know, I store my pads in here too. The ones that I'm using, currently using for different needs. And then I have another place for non-used ones. I don't remember where the stamp was. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then close to my heart has cling stamps that come in these cute little envelopes. And again, original packaging, and I keep the, the little foam piece, and I just leave the stamp in there. I don't think I've used this one, so... And then it just goes in a basket. And it's so easy. You can turn it around and then just kind of peruse your stamps. And then this one here, I've just been putting down in here. This stamp here um, is actually a homemade stamp. And it's wonderful. It's beautiful when you stamp it. Let's just stamp it, shall we? And I'm, for that, I'm going to use my Distress Oxide. And so you want to pounce. I, just to get a nice coverage, I will put it on and then twist. Um, if you're, and then, and then pounce, 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 pounce. And then we sort it upside down. And then we give it a good squish. And see? And that, that's pretty. Can you imagine that with green? And then again, we clean it off. And we dry it off. Apparently, I hadn't used the stamp yet. Because... Oops, yeah, and I'm gonna have to glue that. Um, so not self when you glue these, make sure you glue them extra well. I will take hot glue and glue that on there, or some fabric pack or something. It's on plastic, so I was wondering if it was gonna come off. Um, so there's there's this, and this one here, I would I just I just make sure that when it's in the container, it's not really touching anything because that kind of uh, plastic that they that they used for the stamp is easily squished. Um, so this is my second basket of stuff that, of stamps. I have three baskets and two, three drawers. Um, Okay, let me rephrase that. I have three baskets of stamps plus a drawer, that big drawer you saw. And then the other two drawers are um, accessories. But so the cling stamps that I that will that I didn't save, this here is actually a clay stamp. Um, but you know, whatever. I got this at a yard sale and it's a CD holder with the cling stamps on it. And then this person put what was, what the stamp was. This is a brilliant idea. I mean, how awesome is that? It keeps your stamp level and this, the CD case is hard enough that even if there's something on there, it's not going to distort the stamping surface. Um, here's some Tim Holtz, again, that I cut apart so it would fit into these plastic envelopes like this. And you clean these stamps just the same way as you would, um, you know, the, the wood-mounted stamps. And see, I don't, since I've started junk journaling, I'm not really good about, and really good about cleaning my stamps as you can see but I didn't use the whole image either so there's that um so that's how I so like this here isn't in an envelope it's too tall to fit in an envelope so I kept the acetate that was on the back of the of the stamps and I kept the front the front piece and that will keep the stamps 
um, from distorting the stamp surface. And I just put them in my basket. And then here, as you can see, I have this one. This I will probably cut and put into an envelope. I have to get some more envelopes. These plastic envelopes like this I got off of Amazon. I believe they're they're five and a half by seven, so I think they're for the uh, like a five by seven pictures. I don't know. Um, I'll probably cut this one and put it in one of those when I get some more, but I just, I don't have any more. So that's how I stamp. I just cut off or I open it and just leave it in there on the, on the cardboard. Let's see this one here, the bottom is cut out of it and it's just, it's got the two pieces of acetate. So that's awesome. And yeah, that's all, that really is all that you, I mean, there's not a whole lot of care involved if you wanted to, like I said, those ones, let me see, let me find that one. Like this one here hasn't been cleaned in a while. It's a cling stamp, but I obviously did not save the original packaging. You just rub it in here. Whatever way it fits. And then you would take, and see, this has been on there. I don't think I've used this stamp in a couple months. So there's that. Um, you could actually, you know, squish it around in there and then just leave it in there and come back to it later. And it'll be clean. I'm not that concerned with this because, again, the spacing between the stamp, the stamp part, and there's enough spacing in there, there that even if this does build up a lot of um, ink build up in there, it probably won't distort the stamping image. Um, Cause I don't use it very often. So there's that. Um, I have a basket here on my desk that has inks. I keep my corner rounder in here that I use all the time. Um, I don't know why that is in here. That goes up there. Um, so I learned about this from Laura over at Craft and See with Laura B. And I believe she got it from um, Crafting with Miss Tommy. And you put a piece of Velcro on a pill bottle. And then you put your round on there and or your dauber. And then you can ink and um, you don't have to have one of these. So... Again, I store my ink pads upside down. These, I don't, this one is for the vintage photo and I just leave it in there. These, these stamps I use all the time and I'll put those in there and leave them upside down like that. Um, or actually how I will store them is I would put them th there and then I would put that on top with my dauber because I use the vintage photo all the time that's why I would do that. If you want to, um, so that ink pad I've had for, I don't know, a couple of years and, uh, and, and I used to use it all the time. I don't necessarily like to ink in there, you know, ink around the, the edges, but I still use it on occasion and it still has plenty of ink in it. Now I have re, I haven't re-inked it. What I've done is taken a wa my my water bottle. This is empty, sorry, so I can't show you. And I oh, there there's some water, and I just there, and I just put some water on the ink pad, let it soak in a bit. I'm gonna clean this outside because yes, you will make a mess. This is not clean clean business. See, I got ink all over my hands. And then you see it's all the water soaking in or soaked in. And then you can take your dauber and I twist my dauber sometimes. I don't know why. And then you see 
initially you need to be really careful because it's it's really inky um so you don't want to you know do that camera you, know, you don't want to start weighing on the page to, to ink it you just want to ink around you know be very gentle with it initially after sorry after you've sprayed it because boy it will be inky there'll be lots and lots of ink on it um so that's how i if my if a, if an ink pad isn't giving me enough ink i that's what i do is i just put i have water in that water bottle and i give it a spritz and it takes care of it um so that's pretty much it on the care of rubber care and storage of rubber stamps if you have any questions please please put um send me or put put it in the comments because i'm i'm betting that you are probably not or if you have that question you probably are not the only one that has that question so i will answer all those questions for you and this is a vacuum paper, so I don't throw it away. That's for tomorrow's video. Um, so, yeah, make sure you give a thumbs up. Um, put a comment in the comment box, even if it's just a smiley face or a heart or anything like that. And I will be more than happy to answer you um, and with, with, an with questions or, you know, answer your questions or what have you not. So that is a video for today. This is a short video, which is fine. Um, I was gone over the weekend, so, you know, I'm kind of not in the, kind of not in the, the frame of mind to be taping, I guess. Well, okay. So we will see you tomorrow. And you guys have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.